doing quite well, aren't I? I can make a second career of this. Anyway, I just popped back into the office after a date with Ed. We went to this little Italian place in the next town over and went for a walk. Ed took me to the local museum, which I thought was going to be a bore, but was actually okay. Then we came back, had a cup of tea and a chat in the living room, and then he had to go. He's finishing off job applications and I had to get back to do some work. So I thought I'd make a video telling you how much I'm enjoying spending my time with Ed. I bet you are. May I help you? Who are you talking to? You know, the girls, Isabella, Olivia, Roxy. Anyway, I thought we'd lost you forever. The last time I saw you, you were blind drunk and had just been chucked out of a wedding. Yeah, well, I got bored. Plus, Uncle Grant keeps going on at me about how I've abandoned the work site and the projects aren't getting done and etc, etc, etc. He has got a point, but actually things are going quite smoothly. So I thought I'd uh, come and check up on my little sister, you know. But I can, uh, I can see that Ed's been keeping you entertained. He has. Keep your nose out. Well, if all you're here to do is make a nuisance of yourself, you can kindly go back to annoying our uncle. No, no, I'm good. I've got a project that I need to be here for. What's that? Henry, if you've changed your mind about the foyer entrance design again, I will kill you. No, that's all done. It's complete. I've got a new project. I was thinking about it on the way here. It's not really a design project. It's more of a, a person project. Well, now I'm intrigued. Go on. It's about Frankie. What about Frankie? You won't approve. Try me. I plan on making Frankie Price fall in love with me. Oh, Henry, don't be a bastard. Have you already forgotten what you did to Rhea and Julia? And now to break Frankie's heart on purpose? That's low, even for you. I don't mean it like that. I know I screwed up with Rhea and Julia, but this time I think I'm doing a public service. What, by emotionally compromising every girl under the age of 25 in a 15 mile radius? All I want to do is give her some experience. To make a small hole in Frankie Price's heart. Just a small one. She won't even notice. Can you hear yourself? Hear me, listen, listen, hear me out. The last time we were speaking, you were saying how sad it was that Frankie had never been in love. That nobody had ever looked at her that way or made her feel special. So what if I do? I mean, I don't plan on making her marry me or anything. I just, I just want to make her feel special. Mm-hmm. What? I know your game. Frankie's the only girl who hasn't fallen at your feet at first sight, and you just want a perfect record. Mm. There's truth in that, but I don't want sex or anything. I'm just, I'm just intrigued to see if I can. Where's this come from? Facebook. I was looking through the wedding photos and noticed how pretty she was. She's changed a lot since January. But she's, she's not your type. Nor are Rhea and Julia. Uh, fair point. Yeah. Do you know, I'm going to hate myself for saying this, but this isn't a bad plan. Now look, I'm not condoning your bad behaviour and I'm not going to stand by and watch you intentionally hurt Frankie. But you're right. I agree. Frankie's been ignored for too long. So go on, flirt with her. I would pay to see you try. Frankie's too smart and she'll know something's up. She's not the type of girl who's going to fall into your arms because you complimented her on the colour of her eyes. But please, Henry, just be kind. I will, don't worry. Are you coming? Where are you going? <laughs> to find Frankie, of course. Oh, I wouldn't miss this for the world.